Hello and welcome everyone again to another video. On today's video, we will talk about the best teams in the Master League Season 20, aka Max Update. My name is Yasir Ali, I'm a Twitch streamer. I stream on Twitch and I also stream, oh sorry, I stream on Twitch on this channel, twitch.tv slash Yasir Ali. I also stream on this channel, usually when the leagues rotate and we post some cool teams here and there with, uh, on, uh, with like a tutorial on how to play each of them. So in today's video, we'll talk about the Master League meta, how, what to do and what to use. Uh, uh, to be more more specific uh, if we take a look at the pv pv book ranking zygarde still by far number one but it's not as accurate as you may think okay because there are more flexible pokemons and they, and can do what zygarde does and you don't need a zygarde for that followed by palkia palkia origin still still is the best in neutral pokemon in the entire master league meta uh, and yes you do need uh, special rent you can't use it without special rent you could use it, but it's not as good without special rent. Followed by Yeveltal, which is a Pokemon that get a huge buff now. A Sucker Punch is the best two-turn fast move in the entire game. You could arguably say that it's the best turn, the best fast move in the game. Uh, because two turns are like arguably the, the most flexible fast moves. Yes, one turn are better, but usually one turn like do slightly less damage. Uh, Sol Galio got a decent buff. Now Sol Galio has a fire spin that actually get a buff, uh, which is does one more damage now. Uh, followed by Necrozma, Dusk Main. Dusk Main is the lion. Uh, why Dusk Main is still here? Well, uh, technically, I didn't get any specific buff. I mean, Meta Claw got a buff, but you still go with Shadow Bolt. It's still one of the best in neutral Pokemon. Yes, it's, it's a steal. But most of the damage comes from Shadow Claw with, combined with Dark Pulse. So it's a decent Pokemon. Uh, Rhyperior, which is the Pokemon that will get all the love. Why? Because it's a Pokemon that everyone has. That's number one. Number two. It get a huge buff, okay? Mud Slap is now the best three-turn fast move in the entire game. It's just so busted of a fast move. It's so good that it made the Dragon Tail look like a joke. That's how good this Pokemon is. As an example, five Mud Slaps will get you a Rock Kicker, I think. Uh, let me double check and be right back. Okay, yes, I stand correct. Five Mud Slaps will get you a Rock Kicker. Uh, followed by Ho Oh Ho Oh, I do recommend the Shadow over the Non Shadow. The Shadow kind of has a better matchup into Rhyperior. If you land the Sacred Fire, you could literally farm all the way down after, as long as they don't get a Breaking Swipe debuff. Uh, Flood gets get a decent buff to Fairy Wind. Now Fairy Wind does more damage. Now this is PvP. What about my rank? Usually, as always, I divide them into three different categories: leads, safe swaps, closets. What are closets? Basically, closets are like Pokémon that can nuke. Okay, whenever like you have no shield, they have no shield, and then when this Pokemon throw a charge move and then bye bye, you no longer see them. Okay, so leads, uh, let's just sort them by whatever I think is the best. And I think Yeveltal is the best Pokemon here, followed by Rhyperior and then Palkia. Why Palkia? Why do I think Rhyperior is better than Palkia? I don't think it's better. I j uh, sorry, I just think that it's a better lead because Rhyperior is kind of. Uh, kind of more annoying in the lead than a Palkia because Palkia's like charge move is Aqua Tail and usually like most of the Pokemon's kind of either take neutral or resist that while Rhyperion's bait is uh, speaking Swipe which is does super effective to dragons and most of the meta as you all know and Master League is, is two dragons plus whatever usually the third is like whatever but usually it's two dragons in the team and Breaking Swipe has a much better value than uh, Aqua Tail because it debuff and it hits all the dragons with super effective. Now, I do think that Ho-Oh is still as good just for the fact that it still beat uh, Yeveltal. And it can beat Zacian. And I'm expecting Zacian to be everywhere for a simple fact because it can close combat this and it destroys this. So those are like two of the... To the, the, the two Pokemon that get huge buffs the most. That, that get buffed the most. And the only Pokemon that can do great into them is... Zacian, you could arguably say that Palkia O is uh, is better, but not everyone has a Palkia. Plus, uh, Zacian is back to raid soon. I think it's after Groudon we will have Zacian. So you can just uh, raid that Pokemon and have it as the best answer to the current meta. We talked about Sol Galeo. I think Landorus is still decent, okay? Why it's still decent? For a simple fact that it's now... I think it takes six to get to a Sandseer Storm, but remember that this thing is meta, this thing is meta. You can stone edge this and you can see and Sandseer this. So it's super effective here, it's super effective here. So Landorus should still have a decent uh, play into the meta. Yes, Mud, uh, 
but uh, Mudshot is no longer as good as it used to be, but technically it does more damage now, so you could rely on having high, sky high attack and simply just do more damage. Safe swap, Zacian is still the best safe swap in the entire Master League. And the Pokemon here that's worth mentioning is Giratina. Giratina used to be bad, okay, last season. Now it's kind of better for a simple fact that because people have Necrozmas, either Duskmane or Downwing, because lots of people were reading it during GoFest, either the New York one or the Spain one or the Japan one, or even the global GoFest. People were just going crazy on this Pokemon because it just looks so freaking cool, okay? Uh, anything here, I think another Pokemon that's worth mentioning is Xerneas. Xerneas arguably can sometimes do a better job than uh, Zacian. And a biggest example about that is Zygarde. Zygarde can beat... Uh, Zygarde can beat uh, Zacian in the, in the zero, as long as Zygarde get to land two EQs, which is doable by some energy lead. But Zygarde cannot do that to Xerneas because simply Xerneas like does more damage because it has a very fast move while Zacian does not have a very fast move. Uh, the closest, uh, the Alga is still the most threatening Pokemon in the Master League because a lot of times it's just so busted of a charge move. It's literally, you know, like when you throw Draco, it debuff your attack by two stages. A lot of time it's so busted that it literally does the same amount of damage as Draco and it doesn't even debuff you. That's how busted this move is. Uh, Mewtwo, you could use a Mewtwo to be honest. I am not a fan uh, for the simple fact that everything has been everything has been getting buffs except a Mewtwo. So a Mewtwo used to be busted when everything was bad. Now everything is so busted, but a Mewtwo is still just busted. Okay, so it's like kind of one stage behind the meta. I do think that the best budget option here would be Dragonite. The Dragonite does great into Rhyperior because remember it has superpower, and if you land the superpower, you're in a good situation. And Dragonite does beat uh, Yeveltal and uh, Rhyperior. So it's a good Pokemon. It also beat Palkia. So that's my secret Pokemon to use. I'm going to use my Shundo Dragonite tomorrow uh, when I'm streaming live on my uh, on Twitch channel or on YouTube. So once the, the leagues rotate, make sure to click on this channel because I will be live, hopefully. As long as nothing uh, urgent happened. Uh, Lugia has a decent play, but I think Lugia... Lugia, the problem with Lugia is that it's getting... It's, it's a struggling due to the fact that we had so many busted Pokemons in Great League that learns the Sky Attack. And they had to nerf the Sky Attack to make those Pokemons slightly balanced. And then Lugia was just getting side nerfs because it learns this move, uh, similar to the other ones. Uh, is there any other ball Pokemons that's worth mentioning? Well, uh, Buzzwall is kind of a great answer to both Yeveltal and... Uh, Right, period. The problem with the Evil Tal one is that uh, Oblivion Wing will one shot you, so you need to make sure that you save two shields for Buzzwall. Uh, anything else here worth mentioning? Well, Mamoswine has a decent play uh, because you have a super effective fast move into Evil Tal and Zacian. Sorry, and Evil Tal and uh, Mamoswine. Not Mamoswine, right? Period. Sorry, I meant right? Period. You still run Powder Snow because if you want Mud Slab, just run right? Period. It's much better. Anything here else worth anything? Anything here worth mentioning? Uh, Shadow Gyarados can be an, uh, a replacement to Palkia Origin. If you don't have a Palkia Origin, then you have a good IV Shadow Gyarados, and arguably it's literally easier to get a, a Palkia Origin than getting a good Shad, a good IV Shadow Gyarados. Just as how hard it is to get this thing. Dogekiss is worth mentioning as the as it's the best anti-dragon Pokemon. Now, I'm just going to talk about the top picks briefly, okay? How to build a team in Master League. You choose one of those two or both. You choose one of those three and you choose one of those three. You can skip the third line and you try to build your team out of these five Pokemons. So, as simple as that, those five Pokemons are literally going to be the best and going to be everywhere. So... Uh, what about the Primarina? Well, I'm not gonna talk about Primarina. I don't wanna tell people to run Charmers in Master League. Master League is fun because Charms do not exist. So we talked about the Pokemons, we talked about the top picks. Let's just talk about the top teams because we have some teams from uh, top players as well. Players like who are actually like regional players, top leaderboard players. And today's video, let's talk about them. And the first team will be from the best, the highest ELO player in the entire universe. PV Pok himself. The one who makes all the ranks. So uh, if you go to PV Poke, you will find out that Zygarde is still the number one Pokemon in Master League, okay? I do think if you want to run Zygarde, you might need to run Outrage, okay? But if you run Outrage, you're going to get destroyed by the fairies. But usually, if you, they have a fairy, they, if they have the fairy, 
like always on your Zygarde, you kind of always lose. So there is an argument to an uh, outrage on Zygarde. And if you try to build a team around Zygarde, uh, PV Poke will recommend running Duskmane the Lion. And if you choose that, PV Poke will recommend Palkia Origin as a third. Uh, to be honest, it's a good team from last season. I don't know about this season. I feel like Rhyperior will just run through the entire team. But to be honest, it's not the Wats Pokemon that this team could face. The Wats Pokemon that this team could face is actually uh, Geomancy, Xerneas, because it does super effective here, it does super effective here, and it can do neutral close combats here. So this team is too good, but, okay, but you have to be aware of the right periods. You have to have a plan how to play the right period and the Xerneas. The next team, we have a spicy pick from uh, Mr. Signali. Signali is Signal. Signal, call him whatever you want. Uh, he's uh, he's my teammate and he's a re regional player. He he hit leaderboard multiple times. He always make fun that uh, you're either number one or you no one. So he still thinks he's no one because he didn't hit number one. So what's Signali's team? Signali thinks that enormous, enormous, en enormous. Okay, enormous incarnate is a decent Pokemon that people should respect. Uh, for one simple reason, uh, it has Fairy Wind, which is a move that gets a buff. It has a Fly, which is the best at charge move, and it has a Dazzling Gleam as a coverage. That's the three reasons, yeah, sir. Uh, technically, you are correct, okay? Yeah, it's a, it's a Flyer, so it destroys Rhyperior, and it's a Fairy, so it destroys uh, Yveltal. So technically, it's a good Pokemon. The problem is that this Pokemon was only available during Valentine Day at 6 p.m., and nobody was able to raid this thing. So good luck having this Pokemon. I don't have it. I I, I think I have one or two. I snuck in two. Uh, he said, okay, his, the signal tip for today is best buddy Rhyperior in case of the mirror team. I don't think there is a mirror team. I think he mean like in case of the mirror period, okay? Because Rhyperior is just so annoying to, to handle. Let's just fix this. Okay. Yeah, it should be fixed now. Yeah, best buddy Rhyperior in case of the mirror. That's like the... What's a, what's a core breaker here? Well, you could say that Zacian is annoying. You could say that Kyogre is annoying. You could say Primarina, but to be honest, if Primarina has a charm, it should be manageable. Uh, moving into another team from our friend, the guy who has been generous with us, sending us some cool videos, a very high MMR gameplay, the Pokemon, uh, or Oix, o Oix, Oixa, Oixa. What? Okay, this is Pokemon upside down, okay? I don't know how you read it. I don't know why he li he likes to make it a bit complicated. Like even his number one screenshot, it's literally upside down. So the Pokemon thinks that Primarina is just going to be insanely good in the meta. And the thing is about Primarina, people actually always surprise their opponents by running Waterfall Primarina because it just does the job and more. Because against the Alga, you still win with Waterfall. And with a Charm, you lose to Landorus. So Waterfall kind of makes sense, to be honest. And the problem with this team is that it loses to one Tabu Blulo. But the thing is, people don't have Tabu Blulo. There are like five people I queue into. They have Tabu Blulo, and that's pretty much it. So uh, just don't be in the ELO where people have Tabu Blulo. What's the ELO for Tabu Blulo? Nobody knows. People like with Tabu Blulo will just queue into you. Every time you think this Pokemon just doesn't exist. Other than that, this team is actually decent. Uh, so you use Rhyperior as a safe swap to bait out the Yveltal, technically. And if they bring in the Yveltal, you can farm it down later with this. And you have the Giratina. Giratina is one of the most underrated safe swaps. But the problem with it, you can't safe swap it anymore because Zacian and Yveltal do exist. Another team from our Master League specialist, uh, K-God. Uh, Kgod uh, is a Pokemon Go streamer. You can find him at twitch.tv slash Kgod. You can find him on Twitter at uh, Kgod Mafia. So Kgod streams always during Master League and he loves his Zacian. He has different moveset than anyone. Usually people run quick attack, wild charge, close combat. Kgod prefers Snarl, wild charge, play rough, okay? Uh, to be honest, I like his moveset more because it kind of, because the main thing is if people have their Dialga and their Zacian, they always swap out. So technically, you don't need to close combat because people will always fear you, okay? So it's kind of like a two steps ahead of the opponent. Opponent will think uh, you don't have player off, then they would bring, bring something that's weak to player off. What's something that's weak to player off but not close combat? I'm assuming the only thing is uh, Zygarde, I think. 
Uh, Yeveltal is a busted Pokemon now. Again, same argument goes for uh, Rhyperior because Rhyperior is just so busted of a Pokemon. Now, moving into a team from our friend Smash King. Smash King, a very washed player. He used to be so good at this game and now he's just so good of a troll. Okay, he loves trolling. He just doesn't try hard as much. But he has some fun team for Master League, which is uh different than anyone he prefers the wings one why he prefers the wings because he still he thinks that steals are boring then why he runs the alga because he doesn't have folk here yeah that's that's literally the argument what's the brain uh, what's the brain set behind this team he has all those three as hundos is that good enough okay so make sure to check his live stream at twitch.tv slash smash king and now moving into a team i think i will be using okay so, what I will be using is Zacian with Evil Tal or Ho -Oh with Zygarde or Iperior. I'm not going to be using Iperior at day one because day one I plan to hard counter the players with Iperior. So, that's like some fun thing to do, to be honest. Uh, another team that, okay, if you never have skills and but you have resources, you can always go for Kyogre Double Charm, but Kyogre is kind of outdated. The North Surf, Surf is no longer good. Is no longer as good, so you can just run uh, uh, Polkia Origin Double Charm. Okay, you don't need skills. All you need to do is just to tap your phone to victory, and that's the teams for like this season. But let's mention some teams from previous seasons because I feel like they do worth mentioning. Okay, uh, this team. Okay, uh, the BBML ABB Flex. Okay, uh, Polkia Double Lions. Uh, this team kind of lose to one Yveltal, but hey, at least you have two lions. Okay. Uh, a team I used it on last season, I think it's a, it's a still as good, uh, as long as you have a Zygarde. I used this team and he hit Legend with it and he climbed to, I think, uh, I think I climbed to page 2 leaderboard with this team later. Uh, Kyogre is simply used to be used to be there for the Landra safe swap, but I don't think you need it anymore, to be honest. Uh, you could run anything that's not a dragon. You could even run Rhyperior here in, in, in place of uh, Kyogre. Or you could even run just Zacian, to be honest, and have a good play into everything. Uh, our team from uh, the team from our friend Nysis, a Twitch streamer, Landorus Double Dragon. I think the second dragon here is unnecessary and it's not as good. So you may want to swap and switch it to something like Zacian, like Yeveltal maybe. Yeveltal would be nice, to be honest. And you use the Yveltal to bait out the Zacian and then Palkia will just sweep the entire team later in the game. And that's it for today. So thank you so much everyone for watching. This is the end of the video. Make sure to follow all these uh, amazing uh, players who we mentioned in the video, which I'll be leaving in the description below. And if you haven't uh, subscribed to the channel, I don't know what you're waiting for. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything, but it does help our channel. Thank you so much for watching. This is the end of the video. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like if you're new to the channel. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks so much for watching.